Welcome Sagittarius to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of April for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm showing the event chart at the start of the week which will provide a backdrop. You can see that the part of fortune is at 26 degrees and 55 minutes in your sign. So that means if you show or take the initiative around the situation, it's linked to Mercury, despite Mercury's retrograde, can be very positive. So there's an idea that you've got that you can showcase in a very persuasive way. Now, last week, Venus, the planet of love, but also loot, moved into your fifth house. That's very sociable. It can be very affectionate. And at the start of this week, the moon is very close to Venus. That's a really lovely combination. So if there is someone, whether it's a, a partner, someone you're interested in, even your children that you're really enjoying at the moment, that can be turned up to max. What's more challenging this week, to be honest, Sagittarius, is the role of Saturn. Over the last year, uh, just over a year, Saturn has been in your sector of emotion. And maybe something to do with a property matter or family uh, pressures have been a factor since then. But Mars moved into that area on the 23rd of March. And you may have shown a lot of determination to overcome those challenges. But this week they are going to be coming into an exact conjunction. And that can cause some frustrations to really peak. But of course on Monday we have the total solar eclipse in the most bubbly part of your situation, House 5. And of course Mercury, like I mentioned, is in a retrograde here. But as the day goes on, Venus and the Sun move forwards and connect with Chiron. Chiron in the 5th house could be a sense that if you don't feel completely fulfilled in your romantic life, or you'd like to be more creative and imaginative at work, that's an area you could work on over the, the next six months of the eclipse influence. But also the sign of Aries can be very much about our identity. You are usually someone who needs to feel that your free spiritedness can be expressed. And if that is being inhibited at the moment, particularly around those home and family pressures, that's something you'll want to work on through this next half year. But by Wednesday, Mars has moved forwards and connects in an exact conjunction with Saturn. And if you do feel hemmed in, the pressure of that could feel really challenging. Uh, what I would say to you is by the end of this week, Mars moves past Saturn and starts to link up in a much more positive way with your ruling planet of Jupiter. Now, Jupiter and Uranus continue their journey in your sixth house taking different approaches to the type of work you could do or the way you organize your home life is going to pay dividends for you and you're going to see the evidence of that by the 21st of this month but of course mercury does continue that retrograde in your fifth house so however much the total solar eclipse can help you to showcase your talents over the next six months mercury suggests there may be some slight amendments that still need to be made try to take these in your stride what i feel is going to be most challenging this week is if you don't feel heard in terms of your emotional situation or you feel in some ways a little bit inhibited by some of your feelings because you can be such an optimistic outgoing and bubbly person just allow yourself to have feelings because that's perfectly natural and if you deny them what can happen is they build up and then they express themselves in a way that we don't feel comfortable with and that could be that conjunction between Mars and Saturn but if you want to change something physically in your home life that combination will give you a lot of determination to do it you know whether it's getting some decorating done whether it's applying to get a, a rental on a, an apartment whether it's getting your first foot on the property ladder in terms of a purchase, your willpower will be awesome. 
but you will feel potentially a little bit closed in by that. And the more playful, expressive energy of the fifth house may not shine quite as brightly as you may like. But by the end of this week, you will see things start to move. And what can help this is the Mercury Kazemi on Thursday. The retreat in Mercury meets the advance in Sun, and that can help you to really rethink some of the creative and expressive ideas you have, but find a way of outputting them that's just that much more suitable to you. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a great week. If you've yet to do so, please like, comment, share or subscribe.